everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little vlog style, a little bit more casual because today we are discussing my entire skincare collection. It's scary. Some things under my sink I haven't touched since I moved in over a year ago. This is going to be a very scary journey. But what we're gonna do, I'm literally gonna take you into my bathroom. We are gonna go through the mess that I made in my bathroom because I am not a clean person in the bathroom. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna keep from my collection and what I'm gonna get rid of. And by get rid of, I mean either donate, put it in a giveaway, or give it to friends and family if it is lightly used. So all of that declutter fun. So if you love collection videos, if you love declutter videos, then you're gonna wanna stick around for this one. And we are just going full force into the bathroom showing you all of my skincare and wondering why I have so much. Really, really, it's, a lot of them is probably expired. But anyways, let's just get right into my bathroom. Okay, so we're in my bathroom. Here I am, I look horrible. I haven't even done my hair or anything. But we're in my bathroom and this is like kind of my main system. And as you can see, it is a complete mess. I am not a clean and organized person. Like there are just things strewn about here and then I don't even wanna like, like that's just very scary. Mind the tampon. So we're gonna try to attack what's in there what's on here and then these are more like my everyday things so these are probably stained but you know we got to declutter them anyway so this like i just there's so oh my more tampons like there's just you know tmi right there's just too much stuff here but we're gonna tackle it okay like what some of this stuff has so much dust on it and then i think i have drawers elsewhere so this is what we're dealing with, people. It's gonna take me the entire day, I bet you. I've brought it out into my living room, and what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna organize everything from like cleansers, masks, body lotions, face cream, serums, put them in piles, and then kind of see how many of each I have. I think that's the best way to do this. Okay, so here is everything that is skincare that I own, and this is a lot. This is a lot. Um, so they're all kind of in piles right now, and we're just gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna keep, and what I like, and what I don't like, and all that fun stuff. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with eye creams, for no reason. So this is how many eye creams that I own. Um, that's a lot, yeah. So let's just go through my favorites. This is my number one favorite. This is the Dermalogica Stress Positive Eye Lift. It's my favorite, it's really expensive, but it really works. It has a wonderful cooling applicator and it's just really good for puffy eyes. So I'm keeping that. This is by The Ordinary and it is their caffeine solution. So this is good for the AM because it does have caffeine in it. So these are very inexpensive. I'm almost done this one anyway, so I'm gonna keep this one. This is the Corez Black Pine. I got this at an event. This is an anti-aging one, but unfortunately it stings my eyes. I don't know if I'm extra sensitive. I even tried not putting it too close to my eyes, but it just stings. There's nothing I can do about it. So I'm gonna pass this on. It is used. I don't wanna recommend it if it stings me, but I might kind of give it to maybe my mother to try and just warn her. So this is a pass for me, unfortunately. I need a pass pile, that'll go over here. <laughs> this is the Estee Lauder Daywear Eye Cream. I love this stuff, I was given this at an Estee Lauder event. It's just a nice cooling gel, no nonsense day cream, a day eye cream, so I'm gonna keep this. This is very old, this is the Tarte Maracuja C Brighter. I can't even open it. This is great, it is hydrating. I just didn't notice it do much else other than hydrate and I honestly think this is about three years old and I haven't really used it so I think this is time to go in the trash for this sad little guy. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream Brightens, Repairs and Transforms. I like this, if you can see it has a pink tint. Um, if I'm feeling like my dark circles are extra dark, I will pop this on in the morning because it will just brighten up my under eyes. So I do like this one a lot. I'm gonna keep it, it's new, I like to use it. This is another fave of mine. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. 
This baby's expensive. I'm almost done it, um, so I will just use it up. I like to use this at night. It is extremely hydrating, and I've noticed that with this, all the little bumps around my eyes, underneath my eyes, have gone away. So if you have that problem, this is a really good one. Keeping that. Wow. So keeping five, night, five eye creams, that's a lot. Throwing out one, giving away another. This is gonna be a long video, guys. Okay, now we're on to serums. This is gonna be difficult, I have a lot. So this is the Clinique Fresh Press Seven Day System. I use this like in another box. I just don't like that it's like seven days, you have to use it every day. I like to try different things. I don't know, I just, it's a bit too complicated for me. You gotta put the powder in, so I'm gonna give this away because it hasn't been used. Now this, is the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. This is a vitamin C serum. I love this stuff. It's just no nonsense, vitamin C, it's really brightening, so I'm gonna keep this. This is was gifted to me. This is the Pi Rose Hip Oil. I love rose hip oil. Unfortunately, this does not smell good. A lot of rose hip oils do not smell good, and I can't stand the smell of this, so I'm gonna give this away because other people might not be as sensitive. This is the Ordinary Advanced Retinoid. Love it, it's just anti-aging retinoid serum. Love it, under like $10, keeping that. This is Ordinary Moroccan Oil. Love that, sometimes I use serums, sometimes I use oils, so. I just like you having different ones and these ones are again only like under ten dollars so they're great to have keeping that this is a new one to my collection this is the Corez black pine oil anti-aging oil what is it called 3d sculpting firming sleeping oil I haven't been using this enough to fully have an opinion so I got to test this out some more this is the Roger Angele I think that's how you say it legendary fluid I've never used this. I don't even know what it is. It was in a gift bag. I think it's a serum. Not sure. I'm just gonna give it away because I have too much stuff and I've never used it. If I haven't used it by now, I'm probably not going to. The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. This is a sleeping overnight serum. I love this stuff, you guys know this. I have a backup of it, so I'm obviously keeping that. This is a newer one to me. This is the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Pro. This is a lifting and firming treatment. Uh, this stuff's really, really good. I kind of alternate these two. Is my nightly serum, so I'm gonna keep that one. It's great. This is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid um, Serum. I love this for the day. I'm almost, actually, I think I'm completely out of this, so I gotta buy a new one, but um, I do like it, so that will be in the keep pile. Oh, this is not going well. Here, this is the Ordinary, ah! The Ordinary Rose Hip Oil. Um, I like this, it's very hydrating. It kind of tints your skin orange a little bit, so I just use it at night, but it is very hydrating. Keeping that one. This, I like the Ordinary, can you tell? This is the Ordinary Azelaic Acid. This is a brightening formula. It helps with dark spots and it helps with um, acne spots, so I use that when I'm kind of having like breakouts and I need to like diminish the spots. This is another vitamin C uh, cream. I don't use this as much as the Kiehl's, but I will keep it because I'm pretty much almost done and it's a good one. So only getting rid of three. I have a problem, oh Lord. Okay, now we are on to cleansers and cleansing waters and makeup removers and all that stuff. Let's start with my favorites. This is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. It is my favorite, I'm almost out of it, so I'm definitely keeping this. I've gone through this whole bottle. It's just a no-nonsense cleanser, I love it. This is the Colab Micellar Cleansing Water. I don't really use this, so I think I'm gonna give this away. It's full, never been used. Um, I don't know, I just have my favorite, which I'll show you in a minute. This one is my favorite. This is the Garnier Blue Bottle Micellar Water. This removes waterproof makeup, so I'm just gonna keep this one. I just like it better. I tried this, this is the Simple Hydrating Cleansing Oil. I wanted a drugstore cleansing oil, and this is kind of all they had that I could find, and I don't like it. It doesn't really remove makeup that well, like I waterproof makeup and stuff, so I might pass this on to um, someone in my family who doesn't wear as much eye makeup, because this would definitely work for that. I've never used this, it came with my Clairsonic. This is a Clairsonic cleanser, I don't even know. Yeah, cleanser, never used it. Gonna put it in a giveaway or do something with it, I don't know. These are two of the Dermalogica pre-cleanse balms. I have a big bottle and a small bottle. 
Oh, it's leaking there. Um, this kind of burns my eyes. I love the pre-cleanse oil from Dermalogica. It's my favorite, but the balm burns my eyes a little bit. So I have used it, but just so you know, I will not repurchase. And I think I'm gonna toss these ones out. In terms of cleansing oils, I love the Dermalogica, but it's very expensive. So I got the Clinique Take the Day Off cleansing oil. It's a bit cheaper. Actually, it's at like half price of the Dermalogica and it works just as well. So I love to take my makeup off with this, keeping that. This is the Origins Checks and Balances. I like this, I prefer the Dermalogica cleanser, but I keep this because it's small and I bring this for travel. The Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, I don't know, I don't really use this, I kind of just keep it as a backup, so I should probably throw it out. Ah, ah, or I could use it up. Oh, I'll just keep it in case I need to use it, oh lord. This is the Derma E Vitamin C Micellar Cleansing Water. Again, just felt like this didn't remove makeup that well, so I'm gonna pass this on probably to someone who does not use as much makeup as I do. I have not tried this yet. This is the It Cosmetics It Was Sent To Me Confidence in a Cleanser. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it because I do wanna try it um, and try new things. Okay, so then maybe I should get rid of the soy cleanser. Oh my, oh whatever, can't decide. This is brand new to me. This is the Eve Lom. Uh, cleansing balm. It's a, a hard cleansing balm. Definitely gonna try this because I want to know what it's like so I can see if it's better than any of the rest. So those are my cleansers, keeping all these ones. Now we're on to masks and I actually don't have a lot of masks right now so I think I'm gonna go shopping for some masks. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud. This is about two years old and it's starting to dry up and I didn't even use all of it which is very unfortunate but I'm gonna just use it until I like it's dead to me. So I'm gonna keep that one. This is the Vichy Peel Off Mask for brightening. I just didn't really notice a difference and it doesn't really peel like a normal peel off mask. It kind of just like, you just kind of rinse it off. So I might give this to someone and if no one wants it, I might just toss it, but I'll try to find a home for it. This is a really good mask. It's the Vichy Purifint Pores Mask. If you're looking for a more like drugstore mask, this one's great. Um, it's just a basic clay mask. I've almost used up the whole thing. I gotta use this one more. Um, it's just kind of no nonsense clay mask. Gets the job done. I like this one. This is the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. There's like nothing in this. My boyfriend likes to use this actually. This is the one that peels off and like pulls your hair off. So you gotta be aware of this one. Um, there's hardly anything left. I might just go put this in my boyfriend's bathroom. So I'm gonna put that in a separate pile. This one's new to me from a new brand. This is Teology. Um, I just met the owners of this company and this is for instant glow, intense hydration. So I haven't even tried that. So that's stain. This is the Kiehl's Powerful Wrinkle Reducing Cream. Oh, this is a cream. I thought it was a mask. Oh, it's a cream. Oh, and I've used it. Clearly, I know nothing. Okay, let's put that in the cream section. I have not used this. This is the Strivectin Advanced Resurfacing Glycolic Acid Skin Reset Mask. I should probably try this. Resurfacing in five minutes. I should probably give this a try just because I haven't, so I can test it out. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. I love this one. This is the Multivitamin Power Recovery Mask from Dermalogica. This is an anti-aging um, mask that helps re rescue stressed aging skin. It's just replenishing, it's hydrating, it's got vitamin A, C, E, and F. Yeah, it's just really great. It's just a hydrating, kind of regenerating mask. So I'm keeping those. So really only getting rid of two, but I don't have that many masks to begin with, okay guys? Okay, now we have some sprays, toners, random stuff. Um, I just got this. This is the It Cosmetics Miracle Water. This is a three-in-one glow tonic. So far, I love this. This is a Zen effect. I just was gifted this skin calming mist. I used it once. I didn't really notice anything. I don't know. I might give it away to someone who might appreciate this better. Or I'll, I don't, uh, I'll test it out a couple more times. This is my Clarins um, Liquid Bronze Self Tanning for the face. It gives a very, very natural glow to the face. Um, so I like to just put this on sometimes when my face is feeling pale and maybe the rest of my body is tanned. I've never used this. This is the Vichy Mineralizing Thermal Water. I don't really know what this does. Like I think you just spray it on your face throughout the day. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give that away. <laughs> this I love. This is the Dermalogica Antioxidant Hydra Mist. This is the toner I use every day. I love this stuff. It's hydrating and it protects against radical damage. So I'm keeping these two. Oh, and this obviously. Have you lasted this far? Okay, now we're on to creams. 
This is a Dermalogica Super Rich Repair Cream. I love this as a night cream. It's amazing. It's very expensive. I'm almost done this, so um, yeah, I, th I don't even, I think I am done this actually, but I do love this. It's just very expensive. This is a Dermalogica Pure Light SPF 50. I love this. It's brightening and it has SPF 50, which is great for a day cream. I just wanna check before I repurchase if it's a physical sunscreen or a chemical sunscreen because I'm really into um, non-chemical sunscreen. So I'm just gonna check on that one, but it is nice. This is a Dermalogica Barrier Repair. Now this thing's really interesting. You, It's like a no water moisturizer. So it's like a gel, kind of almost like a primer. I used to mix these two together. That's what my um, facialist told me to do. And it just really, really hydrates. It's like, it's like a sh extra barrier shield. I don't know if it's necessary, but I did like having it, but I don't know if I'll repurchase it, but there's still lots in there, so I will keep it. This is the Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. It's a great moisturizer. Um, I've kind of moved on to other ones just because I've been sent them, but I do like this one and I'll probably just still keep it because you know, sometimes you run out, what have you. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. I love this because it's great for day or night. It's just super hydrating and I really, really love this stuff. This is the Tarte Neck Treatment. I've had this for a very long time. I don't know if it works, but I still kind of like every other, you know, month, I'm like, oh my gosh, my night cream. I mean, my neck cream, so I don't know. I'm just gonna keep this. Ah! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep this because sometimes I use it. I don't know. This is the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. It's just a bit large. Um, I haven't really used it. It smells kind of like an old lady. Um, I just have better creams for my skin type. I feel like this would be better for more mature skin. So I'm gonna gift this probably to my mother. This is new one. This is the Secret Sauce Cream. It's like illuminating um, anti-aging cream. So I love this. I'm just gonna keep trying that out. And this is my sunscreen. This is a Josie Marin. Um, daily moisturizer with SPF 47. And this has a physical sunscreen, no chemical, no oxybenzone. So I love this stuff. So really keeping all of those, oh Lord. Almost there, we have some exfoliators. Um, this one's my favorite. This is the Dermalogica Daily Superfoliant. This is a charcoal exfoliant and it's a powder. It's very messy, I keep this in the shower, but it's just a charcoal powder and you mix it with water and I love this. It does a great job. There's a big bottle, a little goes a long way, so I'm gonna keep that one. This was a little freebie. This is the Clinique Pep Start. Um, it's it's nice, I don't use it though. And this is the Estee Lauder um, uh, 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 Revitalizing Supreme Cream. This is like a cream exfoliator. It doesn't really have any like gritty thick particles, like chunky particles. Um, so it's good for sensitive or mature skin. So I'm gonna give these two away and just keep the Dermalogica one. Okay, so now we have some like targeted pimple cream. This is the Dermalogica Breakout Control. I like this, it's salicylic acid. Um, it doesn't do as crazy a job on me as the benzoyl peroxide, but I do like this just kind of every day. It just kind of keeps the demons at bay. Almost done this. Whoops, this is the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc. It just controls oil. I just put this in my T-zone and it kind of helps with breakouts as well. This is a prescription benzoyl peroxide cream. I've been using this on my breakouts and it has helped immensely, but this is prescription, so I'm not a doctor. I can't, I don't know. This, Create Cosmetics, if you were looking for benzoyl peroxide, this has tea tree oil, benzoyl peroxide. You can buy this on Amazon. Um, I like this a lot. It's not as much as the prescription grade, but um, yeah, it is good. I'm done, I'm done this and it has expired, so I'm gonna throw this one out. And then I have my Mario Badescu drying lotion. This is what I put on pimples when they're like crazy and they really just die down overnight. So I'm keeping that. So yeah, basically we're keeping a lot, but you know, I'm a blogger, so I need to test out all this stuff, right? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know, I know, it's a lot. I have a problem, but I do get sent a lot of stuff. I'm glad you got to tidy with me, you got to declutter with me, and now I have a streamlined kind of skincare collection. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe before you leave. It is free 99 and you will have a good time and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.